market daily bias for a 6 slash 18 slash 2024 market daily bias right so for the four hour four hour time frame you know it determines our bias so basically the four time frame is still bullish because you can see all those bearish right the four hour this has not broke such a down yet so let's go look for a building block to the upside and look for a building block to the downside so as in downside upside we have this huge you know auto block so that is for right guy we have this in a four hour time frame which got filled all the way just fantastic we have nothing else but this four hour for five gap okay so if this hourly candle closes what we could do is definitely get a super of liquidity right super of liquidity because this this will probably get created a super of liquidity which should happen and we're not hourly auto block which is already used so much we're not the hourly auto block nothing else but so sell liquidity sweeps right over here another one is right here And another one is right here, right? So sweep, sweep, sweep. Okay, so that's all we have for the buy side. And what could we aim for? I'm looking for 15 minute big contraction today to the outside because the I'll definitely get my bias. So if you go back to the four hour time frame, a huge auto block, right? They can push it back down. Right to the huge auto block, we could do is mark that 50% mark, right? From there to here, that right there's a fifty percent mark. So, and and prior to that, we have for right gaps all around. Probably right here, right? See the four hour? Do we have any four hour for right gaps? We have no four hour for right gaps. That can hasn't closed yet, so we don't really know where is the four hour going to be. So, but let's mark the hourly. So at ten o'clock, want to see how the four hour for right looks like. All right, and we got another one right over here. So these are the four hour for buy gap and the hourly for buy gaps. There's no other ones. Okay, so where could we go for? So once the market opens, comes back down, sweep all this low, probably sweep all these lows, possibly, you know. And we could possibly go for this as a TP1. TP right here is gonna be a break even spot. Right here is gonna be TP1 probably. And TP2 should be definitely on this. All right. But let's go to 30 minute time frame because now we're gonna start using a 30 minute time frame as conflict as well. We have this 30 minute for buy gap that we're in. Yep, that's that. Okay. Alright. I don't really care about the 30 minute thing. I just care about the 30 minute recent session and I care about the 30 minute when the market creates a 30 minute building block. Why being live? Okay, so. What was the recent session? Market open, which is there. And this huge move up from here. All right. So, what is the high of Asian persuasion? Looks like to be right over here. What is the low of Asian persuasion? Looks like to be over here. So with the market could definitely go to these zones over here, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a huge auto block. A touch of that auto block is not going to be enough. You need, to, you need to like at least to go inside that auto block, fill in something else, then, you know what I'm saying, cause it to go back down. But London started right here. The London low is right over here. Which you could definitely go here. It's 30 minutes. If you give me that 30 minute setup, right? If you give me a setup, I'm going to take that setup, right? So yeah. What is the high of London? Looks like to be right here, right? So, yeah. So, what are we looking for today? So, um, you know what I'm saying? Just to let you guys know. So, this is what we're looking for, right? We could definitely go here, touch this. He, he probably won't sweep it, right? If he doesn't sweep it, give me. If he gives me a setup, if he doesn't sweep it, I'm going to take that. So, right here, gonna be break, right here's going to be a break even spot. Right here, gonna probably going to be TP1, right? Right at this candle, or possibly at the end of it, right? And actually, Break even spot right here, TP1 and TP2 right on this, right? Because I'm not sure where to go inside this auto block, right? I'm not sure where to go. So, I mean, although you can see this building block, I'm not sure because it's a huge building block, right? It's a huge four hour auto block. So, you know, so we have to play, we gotta play around with it, right? But yeah, that's what we're looking for for today. And if we can go for the sell side as well, we could probably touch this and come right back down, you know, saying 
go for a sell side liquidity save, right? But yeah, that is my market daily buys. Thank you for watching.